Hey, it's Radha back again. So today I wanted to teach you how to take care of your feet. I think it's amazing that as humans, we walk around on our feet all day and depend on them for just about everything in our lives and we barely give them any love or appreciation. So I wanted to teach you how to do a self massage for your feet today. And uh, we will get started in a minute. So with your foot massage, I find it best to not have any oil or moisturizer at first, unless your feet are incredibly dry. Otherwise, it just makes it kind of too slippery in order to get a lot of um, deep work. So we're going to start on the outer edge of our foot. In reflexology, they say like the side of your foot, the arch that lines up with the big toe, is aligned with the spine. So all the nerve endings of your spine and right on this side of the foot. And so this section is the lower back, the middle back, the upper back, the neck is where the crease of the toe is, and the head is the big toe. So we're going to work along this line to start. So I'm just going to take the thumb over thumb and just push down and make a little circular movement. And then move on to the next spot. I'm just kind of starting to get the foot warmed up. I'm sending it a little love and appreciation for all the work it does. If you feel any painful spots, just Become aware of any tension you're feeling in your foot. Good. All the way up to the big toe. Good. Okay. From there, we're going to move on to what's called the sun lines and Thai massage and they kind of start at the heel and there's five, one for each toe. So we're just gonna follow basically down by the heel, stick to the thumb on thumb. But this time we're gonna glide instead of making the circles. So I want you to just kind of think about pushing your thumbs away from you, letting them glide along the bottom of the foot as if they can just kind of push the tension out of your foot Imagine the tension leaving out of your big toe. So you're going to push it all the way out and really just visualize it leaving your body. Push all the way to the end. And the next toe, same thing, glide. And this is also the plantar fascia area. So if you have plantar fasciitis, this area may be much more tender. All right, and if you have any tenderness as you're nearing this spot, you may have another foot issue, and if it's painful, then you don't need to massage it here. So listen to your body. Too much pain means don't touch. The middle. Good. The ring. And the pinky toe. Good. So now just work the thumbs. You can kind of do one chasing the other. You could use them both stacked on top of each other. You can use your knuckles here. You can use your whole hand to glide. Just find what feels good. You can use the edge of your hand. Just trying to really get any tension out of the midfoot area. Good. 
I'm gonna go up to the toe bed. So we're gonna start at the pinky toe. Let's do a little circular movement. And give the pinky toe a pull. And the ring toe, circular movement. And then give the toe a big pull. Next one, the middle toe. Give it a nice pull. Got a crack. <laughs> the next one. Give it a pull. And the big toe, use your that same thumb. And then give it a pull. Okay. So from here, we're going to kind of pull the foot apart. So you use the thumbs meet in the middle, and you have your hands wrapped around the foot, and then just pull apart. And just take your thumbs one level down. Same thing. Drag the thumbs from the middle of the foot to the edges, as if you could just squeeze the tension out. And the heel doesn't spread quite so well, but that's okay, we're gonna get there next. So for the heel, we're gonna use kind of a cup, cupping motion with your hand. And you're just gonna kind of twist Heels pretty tough, so it's almost like you're dragging your palm in a half circle around the heel, kind of twisting the tension out. And you can twist it the other way too, kind of grabbing from this side. Good. And then just go ahead and go down. Give it some love with your thumbs. Just try to get more blood flow into the heel. I would use knuckles, it's easier, just kind of knuckling this area, either with these knuckles or the big ones. And kind of use it in specific spots, if you feel anything in there, just kind of go back and forth, twist, just find anything that feels good, the heels really and a tougher area to work. So from here, generally a lot of foot issues begin because of both dysfunction in the plantar fascia, but more often than not, it's actually right in here that messes us up. Because every time we walk, it's this engagement. So we're gonna massage that area really well. So we're gonna start down here at the heel. And I'm just gonna have you start to work your way up. So just using a finger, or you can use a thumb too, or two fingers, or you can also stack fingers. And just circular movements, kind of just first becoming aware of the tension that you're holding in here. And then seeing how you can move it, how can you massage it, where does it seem to flow? It's almost like you know, our body has all these little natural grooves and indentations, so trying to see how you can kind of move the tension out of the muscles and spread it out. Work well along the heel, starting to get where the Achilles tendon attaches. And you can massage right in the groove right there. And work your way up around the ankle. Just notice if you feel anything tender or sensitive, tension, if anything feels tight, then you want to work in this longer. So you just kind of listen to your body. Anywhere you feel a little tender means it needs some love. Mm. 
I like to just hold spots that I'm feeling like I can feel a lot of tension in there. It's almost like tender and painful. So I find in areas like that, I just like to apply pressure and take a deep breath. And then the pressure releases a little bit and then I can kind of massage it and help it dissipate more. But using your breath to help you release tension is really helpful. So from here, we're going to go more towards the top of the foot. So right in here is a reflexology point. In Thai massage, we call it the Gulf of Marma. So if you flex your foot, it's right in that little hole between the tendons. And this helps relax all the muscles in the leg. And it's also a natural analgesic, so it's a pain reliever. So if you're having pain, you just need something to take that edge off, you could try massaging this point. So what we're gonna do is just do a few circles in there. And then we're gonna use this point to massage the top of the foot from basically big toe to pinky toe and then the next two toes, and then we'll stack the thumbs for the middle toe. So medium pressure, start at that midpoint, and you just kind of, you can use circular movements or just pushing kind of down and away, pinky and big toe, all the way to the end. And the next one, little circles on the top of the foot. So your fingers go under the bottom, the thumbs on top, right underneath the pinky toe. And then do circular movements, just like we did from the underside, but now we'll give the toe a nice long pull from the top. So another circular movement. And do both directions. And then a nice long pull. Middle toe. Rub the top of the foot, see if there's any tension in there. You can just kind of spread out, push away. Top of the foot tends to be a lot bonier, so there's not always as much uh, work to be done per se, but your foot will appreciate it regardless. So from here, we're going to start to get over to the other side of the ankle. So move my foot and coming down towards the heel again. We're just going to be working. Turn this way. I'm going to be working around this part of the ankle. So start down here. And you just kind of rub the fingers in. See what you notice with tension. Start to dig around. My attention is always right in here. So you kind of see the front of the ankle. You know, notice what you feel all the way around it. And if you're like me, all your work is going to be right in this little triangular area. So just start to dig in. Notice, remember that you can just apply pressure, take a deep breath, let it all out, see how the pain changes. Perfect. And then we'll go to the bottom one 
Okay. And then you can just kind of give it a grand finale, right? So any extra love your foot needs. Get any last tension out. If you do have oil or moisturizer, then now would be a good time to put it on the foot because you're going to be all done after this and can move on to the other foot. Just finish it up with any extra love you want. Give it a good crunch. Give it a good flex. You want to pull the toes back. Pull them up. Awesome, so once you're done, I would walk around and just test out how the foot you just did compares to the foot that you didn't give any love to. And I think that will help you see what a difference it makes and that this is worthwhile to do. So I hope you enjoy and just watch it again to do the other foot. <laughs> All right, hit subscribe and I will see you here next week.